Hi friends, so this week we are learning about frogs. Before I read you the book, let's look at our learning objective for this lesson. I can retell the main idea of a non-fiction text. Let's look at this a little bit closer. Non-fiction is something that we've talked about, and if you remember, a non-fiction text is a book that will teach you something. So today, I am going to be reading you a book that will teach you something. And we're going to be looking for the main idea of that book. Now we talked about main idea, but it's been a little while ago. Remember, a main idea when you're talking about a book is what is the book mainly about? All right, so today, as I read you this book, A Frog's Life, I want you to be thinking, what is this book mainly about? So this book, the title is A Frog's Life, and it is written by Donna Harwick Rice. A Frog's Life. It all begins at the pond. This is the home of the mother frog. She is ready to have babies. She lays eggs in the water. Each egg can become a frog. If you look closely at these photographs, you will see there are lots of eggs here. Every one of those little black dots is one of these, which is an egg. When the t eggs hatch, tadpoles come out. A tadpole looks like a little fish. These photographs give you a better idea of what a tadpole looks like. The tadpole grows. It looks like a fish with two legs. Now it looks more like a frog. Then it grows four legs. Each young frog becomes an adult frog. The frog looks like its mother and father. Then the grown frog can have tadpoles too. Everything will begin again. This shows us the frog life cycle. So it starts with an egg. The egg grows into a tadpole. The tadpole looks like this, gets a little bit bigger. Then it has two legs and then it grows four legs and then it becomes an adult frog and that adult frog starts the cycle all over again. This is a frog's life. Now this right here is called the glossary and this is something you see sometimes in a nonfiction text and it's just giving us some words we need to know like right here frog, pond, tadpoles and there's also a lot of words to know in this book which they've, they've made a list right here. Alright friends so I want you to think back to what our learning objective is. What is the main idea of this book? What is this book mainly about? If you said it is about a frog's life, then you are correct. This entire book gives us a bunch of details about a frog's life. That is what the main idea of this book is. That is what the author is trying to teach us.